Hey guys, so this week I was a little bit stuck on a video to do for you guys. I was due to get quite a lot of shy stuff for my birthday, but my mum didn't know what I had and what I didn't have. So she basically gave me what she would have spent on it and I'm going tomorrow to get all of the stuff that I want and that I need. Um, I couldn't really film a video in my actual barn because I had a sleepover as part of my birthday party. So, and whenever I have a sleepover I always have to clear whatever's on the floor so, so that my friends can sleep on the floor. So my barn had to go away and I hadn't gotten around to getting it out yet. And I was really struggling to think of a video. But then I thought about this and this is going to be a like craft draw to it. So I'm just going to get straight into it. So basically these are my craft drawers. They don't look very crafty from the outside but they're full of all the stuff I use in my Schleich barn and to make other crafts as well. At the minute I've just got this big basket on here which we won and it's just full of crafty type stuff. And I'm just going to move that now. Oops, I might just have to put you in the basket for now and then move it. Okay. Sorry about that. Right. So these are my craft drawers. Um, I got them from TK Maxx and they're like vintage style. They were in the sale, which is why I got them. And I did struggle at first to get everything in here, but it's all in and it's all good. So let's just get started with the little drawers at the top. Um, I've tried my best to organise them as much as possible, but sometimes things just get thrown in here and I haven't looked in here for a while, so... And the first drawer we have stuff I use to make tack mainly. Some suede type cord, some jump rings, some wire for stirrups, different ribbons for halters and stuff, saddle templates and all sorts basically. So that is sort of my, oops, tack, oh god they've gone everywhere, meh, tack essentials box if you like. Oops. See this is problem with getting a cookie out. It all goes all over the place. Okay. And the next drawer we just have it was just my scissors and my glue and my pliers in here. Super glue. Normal glue but I didn't have anywhere else to put my paints. So they've gone in here. And the next drawer it's a bit of a random one. I use these pots as another one somewhere to put my paint in. And mainly it's got Velcro. Yeah, it's just Velcro and a paint pot. Okay, and the next drawer. This is a bit of a random drawer. I basically got stuff in here that I use sort of around the barn, like thing to make a hay net with. Some sticky back things that are useful, very useful. Some hooks and eyes which are really useful for stalls, like stall guards. Chain for stalls. More wire and I've only got one popper left so I should probably get some more. And in the next drawer I have people um, I got lo these three dolls from the charity shop um, when I went to my music lesson but I haven't managed to make clothes for them yet and I'm not actually sure if I should probably, yeah, I should probably have done like, I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's just different characters basically, just in case I ever need them. <laughs> which I probably will. In this drawer, oh, we have lots of spare containers. When I, once I get a new feed room, these Tic Tac boxes, I'm sure will come in handy. I've got a big one there and a little one there. These boxes, you probably have seen them in my barn tours, are so useful. Um, ice cream actually came in there originally, but I obviously ate the ice cream because I wouldn't eat. And we have this weird yogurt pot thing which I never really use and now I've just messed up the whole layout of it. Okay we'll put that drawer back in later. This, oops, stupid drawer. 
Oh, it's stuck, like, really bad. <sighs> okay, I'll sort that out later. In this drawer we have felt for saddle making, cardboard, my box drawer overflowed, so I have another tic tac box in this most adorable little box. Just let me open it. It's so cute. So I'll be putting that in and using it for something soon. This drawer is quite simple. We have glue sticks and a glue gun. This drawer is stuff for decorating like saddles and rugs and whatever I need to decorate. It's got some gems and these ones and stuff. I apologise that my cameraman skills are very poor in this video. Here, as is in here, is literally just spare cardboard if I ever need to make something else. Okay, that's the little drawers done. On to the medium drawers. And this drawer used to be just lollipop sticks. I really need to get some more lollipop sticks. But now it's got like gems and stuff in it. Oh, that's not going to shut properly. And here, oh, what's this? Rather long pair of tweezers. What I think my mum's done is taken out stuff that I wanted in that craft basket and just shoved it in my drawers. So if I see surprised to see an item, it's because I've never seen it before. And that here was some extra long tweezers. Um, and my glue gun stays in here. This is another very random drawer. Okay, it's not going to open up. Um. But that right back there is some zebra ribbon. I actually use this on my friend's birthday present. We have a mirror that I mean to put up in my arena. Another like, I don't even know what this is. It's like a weird sort of foamy material that I sometimes use for stalls. So a sponge that I like to use for sponges and grooming kits and sellotape and masking tape or whatever you call it. Okay. In the next biggest drawers, this is... Originally just had foam in it, foam for grooming boxes and stuff. And now it has my paint brushes, my paints, and uh, some other stuff I've never seen before. These, what are they? Six brush markers. And what's this? Quickie glue. Interesting. Well, now I know what's in that drawer. Okay, now this drawer is quite packed, so I'm gonna have to sort of drag it out. It's not gonna come out. Because all the. Wait a minute, if I pull this drawer out, and then. There we go, right. Basically, this is all of my felt I use for rugs from um, Jazzy Saddles. What's this? I have no idea. Ultra Fine, fine Mist Spray. Go with your favourite crafting art formulas and inks. Soap, cleansers, aromatherapy, hand sanitizer, air freshener, breath spray, breath spray, body spray, hair spray, perfume, and water. And yeah, basically, this is just all my felt. Goes on forever. So let's just squidge that. I haven't been making that many bugs recently because it's summer. So I just have to. I'm not going to get this back in. Right, we we'll just have to squidge it in. Hey, right, sorry, but this has taken such a long time. And finally, in the big long drawer at the bottom, we have sort of, I like to just call them sort of bigger bits of material. That's come from there, no idea how. But basically, in here, we have spare. This is actually like sticky mat for a pool table, but I use it for my fields. What's this? Oh, chalkboard paint. Other felt that I use for a quick field if I need to make one. And it's really cool material, I don't even know what it is. It's like 
I thought this would either be useful for a waterproof rug or like a mat for my wash store. So I bought it and I don't really know why because I'll probably never use it. Um, random spare material. What's in here? I don't actually know what's in here. Oh, pencils. And this really cool cream leathery type material which I might make a western saddle with. So, whew, that is what's in my craft drawers. I'm not sure if this video has been very useful or whether you enjoyed it, but I hope you did. I'm now going to try and fit everything that I used to fit in this box in the box in this drawer in the drawer and we'll see how that goes. But if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you um if you have any craft sorry thingy type things videos even then feel free to post them in the comments <sighs> my next video i promise will be horse related it's either going to be a review or something else but i'll i'll find something so thanks for watching i'm now out of breath um and i'll see you soon bye